friends, committed man, coming at you from Walks Mute, yet another word for the day. Give God the honor, give him the praise for life, health, and strength. You're already two days into the new year, and like I always tell people that I don't make resolutions, I just try to be better today than I was yesterday. That's many man's step, I call it. That's my step. Be better today than I was yesterday. Mind you, we want to give a shout out to the YouTube family, also to the end time harvest game. We want to give everybody their accolade, all the one that makes up the whole game. You know who you are. Um, I wanted to say something. I come back and I was checking out the video this morning. I tried to check out YouTube, and among other things, I tried checking them out, and uh, I ran across, like I said, one of Brother JT's videos, and uh, it took him. I don't get them much now. Uh, like I, like they come and drilled and drabbed. Like, I don't see some of them. Some days I it go two days and I see them, then all of a sudden they'll come back, and then when I look at them, I'm seeing that they, I'm getting them sort of like a day or two late. But at any rate, I guess it's like a song I wrote a while back that said, better late than never. But at any rate, this one I saw, it said it. Brother JT had it titled, uh, Are You in the Body or the Building? Which I thought was a very, very funny to me because I, 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 from the way I see it, Brother JT, from the way, from the way church attendants look, they're neither in the building or the body. People is just not, it's just the, the Bible is scripture being fulfilled. He said that that would be a great falling away from the faith. In the end days, and they're just going to show you that we are in the last days because of this is falling away from the faith. And it doesn't just mean just people that's not going to church anymore. Uh, it's people that's really just turning away from the faith. They're walking away from Jesus Christ. They did it to Jesus, you know, when he, uh, when he uh, had his ministry. Uh, a lot of them, they could not accept Jesus' teaching anymore. When it, when it got difficult, they, they left Jesus. And they, they they didn't follow him anymore. So, you know, it's just, it's just not not at this particular time happening. It's just more elevated right about now. It's more more rampant. It's more common now to see people just walking away from the faith. However, we who are followers of Christ and say we are really soldiers in His army. What is our job is to do is to still teach truth and. Uh, teach the ways and the principles of uh, our Lord and Savior. I, I, I ran across Matthew this morning and I wanted to stay in the book of Matthew for a little while in the uh, gospel according to Matthew. Now, take a look at something here when uh, Jesus had told uh, Jesus had told the people that he was teaching them and he said that be ye perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect which is being being perfect in love that's the only thing that we can do be perfect in is we can be perfected in love that's what he was saying um, then he went on to tell him he said he said t t we're gonna read start at uh, chapter 6 verse 1 take heed that you do not your own before men to be seen of them otherwise you have no reward of your father which is in heaven now, on people, it means charitable deeds, you know, charitable, giving or whatnot. Uh, therefore, when thou doest thine on, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do. See what Jesus is telling them? Don't be like a hypocrite. Jesus do not like hypocrites. Uh, like the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the street. They that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. See, when you see glory from men, that's your reward. That's all you're going to get. When they give you that glory, oh, brother, mid and man, show sure doing a great job. That's all I'm going to get. Because that's why, if that's the reason why I'm doing it, that's all I'm going to get. I'm not going to get anything else from God. Neither will you. But when thou do his own, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand does. Now that is very close to you. Now that's sure enough secret to man. He said, don't sound a trumpet every time you do something, people. 
He said that thine arm may be in secret, and that thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. There they go being trying to be people pleasing, men pleasing, trying to do things for show and to be seen. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and that Father which sits in secret shall reward thee open. You see, people, God gonna reward you openly. People gonna know it, but your your motives got to be right. Your motives and my motives, they got to be right. But when you pray, use not vain repetition. In other words, saying the same thing over and over and over again. People get tired of it, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard of for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things you have need of. Before you ask it. You see what I'm saying? May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Especially the doers. See people, what Jesus was telling them. What Jesus was teaching them. Sad. When you do things to, as an outside show to the world. When they give you they praise, that's all you're going to get. Well, people, I don't know about you. But many man. Many man want more than that. Well, I want my Heavenly Father, first of all, to see whatever I do, he, Jesus told me, do it not to be seen. Now, if somebody just happened to see it, so be it. But he tell me, don't let that be my main motive. You see, a lot of us, we're going to church. We might as well stay out of the building because of all the good it's going to do to it. Because most of the time we go to the building, we're just doing it for a show. We want everybody to pat us on the back, and we do anything. Most times, we want our name up in lights, or if we want a big banner put across the whole front of the church. We want a big spotlight on it because we want to be seen, and we want praise for men. This is why a lot of times the things are suffering. The ministry is the kingdom building suffers because of the fact. This is why jealousy, and envy arise because see now. I'm, I don't got I don't got jealous of uh, brother Elder Michael McCray because of the fact that uh, he used a good microphone and I'm just able to get this little bit of mic that I got, and then I get to I get to point to where I get jealous of him because now two more people uh, went to his channel and viewed his video didn't view mine. People, <laughs> I mean we need to get off that boat. We need to get out of there. It's not about I mean. I'm not so much worried about if anybody view my video and more of I'm worried about if they listening to what I'm saying in that video. In other words, forget the video if you are not listening to the principles of Jesus Christ, which I'm trying to teach, which I'm trying to let you know about. If you ain't going to follow the, the principles and the concepts of Jesus that's in the video, ain't going to do you no good to watch the video. I would rather have people following Christ other than looking at my video. Cause my, that, that's not worth. That's that's not that's not looking at my video. Not going to save anybody. But if they listening to the principles of what Jesus said in His Word, that's what's going to save. Them. So in other words, people, that's what the, what it's all about. We need to get back about our Father's business. Like I said, we need to stay on board this thing. This 2012, no different. If we went in, the only thing have changed is the numbers. So we need to still keep on about doing the the workers of the kingdom. That's what it's all about. It's not about you, it's not about me, to a degree. But remember, I did another video, and I told you, yes, it is. It is all about us when it comes to kingdom building. We need to teach, preach, and profess the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the main thing we, we're really true is the only thing we need to do is let our light shine. Point blank, we don't. We don't have to try to beat anybody over the head with the scripture. Just let the light shine. Let your light shine. And I tell people, just be transparent. Everybody know we all got some things, people, that we are dealing with. There, are no, there is no one that got it all figured out. We all got problems. We all got issues. We all got weaknesses. There's no super women and men nowhere. We all got issues that we have to deal with. Just be transparent and be real with people. I tell people all the time, you know, 
I can, I can get wrong just like anybody and do get wrong. That's how come I have to go back to our Heavenly Father and pray. Ask Him forgive me when I get wrong and just go and just pick up, dust myself off, and keep on going. Whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God's not in it, best you come out of it. This middle man saying peace. Goodbye.